Since 2002, Nefesh Benefesh has assisted over 7,000 North Americans make Aliyah to Israel. Among these new Olim are hundreds of young people, college graduates, and young professionals who set out on the adventure of their lifetime, leaving all that was familiar to them in order to start anew in the chosen land. Filled with aspirations, dreams, and hope, they head out for the challenges ahead. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew that I wanted to come to Israel. It was a little scary at first. It was really intense. It really can be very difficult at sometimes. It was crazy. These are some of their stories. Allison Golub grew up in Seattle. Every Sunday, her mother would drag her out of bed for Sunday school. Her Jewish identity was always confusing to her. So every other year we'd go down to L.A. and have Christmas with them at this huge tree and stockings. And I remember like standing in the middle of the room thinking, what is going on here? Why is nobody talking about the fact that we're all Jewish? At the age of 17, she joined a Holocaust study trip to Poland and Israel, which changed her life forever. I wanted to come here since I was, since my first trip when I was 17. I mean, the first week I was here, I thought, this is it, you know, and I came home and I told my mom and I said, that's it, I'm coming. And I don't think anybody really believed it. She had always searched and tried to find her place in life while making frequent trips to Israel. And then every year and a half or so, year and a half, tops two years, I just started to just climb the walls and feel like I needed to get back for, an, I mean, it was like getting back for another fix. And a lot of the time I used to think of it as a battery, like I, I had to recharge my battery basically here. She finished her BA in psychology at Brown University at the age of 23. At 26, she decided to make Aliyah. I mean, I was scared out of my mind. And I thought, my God, you know, I finally got the answers I wanted and now I'm gonna have to put my money where my mouth is. Allison is now pursuing her PhD in psychology at Ben-Gurion University, located in Beersheba. Hearing about Israel was part of Josh Weinberg's childhood. Hello. My parents always raised me, uh, always talking about Israel, always following what's going on in Israel. Growing up in Chicago in an active reform family, his parents would often tell him their stories from their kibbutz days in the 70s. Josh spent a semester of high school in Israel on a learning program where he now works as a madrich, a counselor, experiencing Israel from within. I felt like people in America saw Israel as a limited experience. They said, okay, you went to Israel, now you're back to real life. I said, wait a minute, why, why can't Israel be real life also? I said, no, 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 you, we live in America and we're the, you know, over there it's not for us. Returning to the States, he finished up high school and went on to complete his B.A. at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I remember one of my best friends from college is Israeli. And I looked at him in the middle of a Hebrew lecture, actually. And I said to him, I was like, Achi, ma, ma I was like, what are we doing here, you know? And he said, uh, he said well, what do you mean? We have like a half hour left of lecture. He's like, I said, no, no, here in Madison, Wisconsin. I mean, it's a very nice place to go to school, but... I, I could be in Jerusalem. Josh is now doing a master's in Jewish education at Hebrew University's Melton School for Education. This is Noah, making Aliyah in 2002. And I'm going specifically now because I think the Jews of Israel really need our help and they don't need checks necessarily and they don't need little parades waving flags, they need people. This is her, three years later. Uh, it was a little scary at first. Uh, when I first came, I had like, I remember counting on my hands, my fingers, how many people I knew in Israel. Like knew, not even like friends with. Noah is now married to Brian, a young Ole himself from South Africa, and they live in Jerusalem. I met my husband two years after I got here. We met at a charity fundraising party. Shortly after Noah made Aliyah, her siblings and parents followed suit. When my parents made Aliyah, it was very exciting because I had been living away from my family for eight or nine years already and it was so nice the first like, holidays they were there that I didn't have to worry about where I was going to be going for the Chagin because I had family. 
Noah is now studying nursing at Hebrew University. Oran Price Bloom is 23 years old. I, I grew up in a Dati family on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. The idea of Aliyah was something he grew up with. I wanted to come to Aliyah since I was 16. Oran completed his undergrad at the Columbia University School of Engineering. He is now studying for his master's in biomedical engineering at the Technion in Haifa. Like Oran, Yael Bitone's parents passed along to her their lifelong dream of making Aliyah. I always wanted to live in Israel. I grew up wanting to live in Israel. I always wanted to make Aliyah. After studying at Barnard College and Yeshiva University, she is now studying law at Hebrew U. Jessica Singer grew up in a town where there was a small Jewish community. I didn't grow up religious. I didn't grow up observant. Now I am. My family is. And my parents um, always raised me to be very strong in my Jewish identity. She studied undergrad at Queens College, waiting for the moment to make her aliyah. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I believe in this, and I'm going to follow through with it, and there are actually people out there that are going to help me. But what sparked their decision to make aliyah? And what was it like making the move? And the phone rang, and it was my old principal, old teacher from, from the high school program. And he said, uh, listen, we're going to have a big semester this year, and I want you to come and teach. So I said, okay, within two weeks, I had folded up my life and decided to make Aliyah. Uh, four years of college in America had sufficiently convinced me that uh, it was time for me to move to Israel. And I did big, huge, sweeping goodbyes. I mean, I did not think, you know, this was it. I mean, I never considered that I would come back. I made Aliyah alone with nobody, uh, but then my family started coming after. But for the first year, I was here on my own. I think at first I was overwhelmed. Like before I got on the plane, I was overwhelmed. But on the plane, I was I was excited. Yeah. I was excited. It kicked in right away. I mean, I think I came to Israel really excited about it, really desiring to live here. Hebrew. Study Hebrew. There are no lack of challenges for the new Oled. Among them is learning Hebrew. Just study. Either take time on Kibbutz Ulpan um, or at the University Ulpan. Go crazy. Take intensive. Read the newspaper in Hebrew. With Hebrew, you definitely need to have a strong background in my particular field because unlike every other department, law is almost entirely in Hebrew. I found that in learning Hebrew, there's only so far I could go in Olpan. And once I started uh, university, my Hebrew improved dramatically. Many young Olim find there are advantages to making Aliyah as a student. It's a lot easier when you're a single guy to bum around for a few weeks if you need to sleep on people's couches. If you're going to be working here, it's much better to be in the system here already. Um, a lot of people have to do retraining, relicensing, all that stuff. You know, if you're thinking about making Aliyah after, let's say, you go to nursing school, you might as well come before, you'll learn everything in the right terminology. I think that I'll be able to be more respected as a psychologist because I did m my schooling here. I mean, the, the big and most obvious one is that part of your Aliyah, I feel almost guilty for saying so, but they pay for your, for your degree. The Tachlion degree in, in, in Israel gets you a job. If you're a graduate student coming out of the Tachlion, there's a demand for, for you. I think the, the longer you wait, the harder it gets. Because if you want to set up a life here and make friends and have a social circle and network of people, um, the younger you are, the better. Your friends really become your family and your, even your third cousin somewhere in Kesara will become really close if you make the effort. Israel. The land that Jews have been dreaming of for over 2,000 years is calling you to partake in the adventure of your lifetime. I guess the advice I have for someone making Aliyah is, first of all, uh, don't beat yourself up over the decision. It's the best decision you can uh, make. You know who you are, and you know what you want out of life. And if you really have a strong inclination to do something, don't let anyone convince you not to do it. You take the good with the bad and the frustrating with the impossible and you just do it. As a student in Israel, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to turn to, to other students. You have to come here because you love Israel. And the reason for that is because it's not easy. It's never easy to live here. Take everything with a grain of salt. You know? It's easy to get really frustrated, but don't worry about it. Things are gonna be okay. Like I said, if you're committed to it, you know, you can build a great life here. With some courage and motivation, the seemingly impossible can suddenly become 
your reality. The door.